Now tonight, the country's investigative agencies appear clueless on the corruption case that has seen the United States deny Busia Senator Amos Wako access to the country. While Wako has been banned entry into the United States over what it describes as significant corruption, the anti-graft agency EACC appears to be in the dark and is non-committal on whether it has any active probe or has investigated the senator over graft. EACC only claims to be working with foreign embassies on mutual agreement on corruption-related cases. Samugina reports. The ban on Busia Senator Amos Wako and his family from entering the United States over corruption seems to have blindsided the country's investigative agencies. EACC, the Director of Criminal Investigations and the Director of Public Prosecutions all seem to be in the dark. Ironically, Wako has been banned from setting foot in the United States over what is described as serious corruption. The anti-corruption agency clueless on the allegations. We have had uh, a lot of engagement with the foreign embassies. Sometimes you people have come here to cover them and we discuss issues with them, uh, collaboration, legal mutual assistance. And some of these things you hear are outcomes of that intense uh, working together and partnering with the uh, foreign missions. It is not the first time that Wako has been banned from the United States. In 2009, serving as the Attorney General, Wako was slapped with a travel ban, with Washington accusing him of being a stumbling block to political reforms. While the latest advisory from the State Department does not explain the charges against Wako, it is suspected the ban stems from Wako's role as AG at a time the country was riddled with mega scandals like the Anglo leasing scandal and the Goldenberg scandal. Perhaps we'd have to hear more as we move forward. So, uh, for me, I would feel this is part of the results of our engagement with uh, people, uh, with foreign missions, uh, together with all my agency teams in this country. The Busia senator is said to make a statement tomorrow to respond to the ban. Also banned is Wako's wife, Flora Angaira, and their son, Julius Wako. In effecting the travel and entry ban into the United States, the State Department indicating it was sending a strong signal that the United States is a valuable partner in Kenya's fight against corruption. The United States stating it will continue to stand with all Kenyans as they strive to curb and punish corruption in Kenya. Sam Citizen TV, Nairobi.